Alright guys, it's Max here for another Union Cross video and it is Monday so we have updates and we have quite a lot today. So let's have a look through these updates. Um oh that that says I forgot what to do it then for a second. I was like, uh what am I looking for? Um so we had zero zero AP campaign the other day. Um I think it's only on for like a week or something. So make sure you grind in the story if you want done it, proud quests, etc. etc. So today's updates we have gem deals. They're always good, you can't really go wrong, you're getting a tier 4 or plus, like I say, you could get a tier 6 or tier 7, potentially, but it's probably not very likely. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm ill as well, so I probably will have to edit the sound a bit, but yeah. Um, so, if you pull from these, either the power speed or magic, you'll get three of each respective gems. Really good to level up your keyblades, etc. You only need to do this if you can't pass quests and stuff, so... The good if you need to pass quests, like, say for example, you're just missing that much, like a little bit of power, then they're definitely worth it. Um, deluxe solo and party ranking rewards. So, you can either be a drumstick, or a Christmas tree. <laughs> the very, um... Well, it's a tacky leg, technically. Raid boss pack, plus five. Um, what does the... I don't say what the other one is. I'm guessing the other one doesn't have any. But, um... I don't have any pack, so... It's just literally the tacky leg which has the pack, which is obviously a boss pack. Um... Yeah, so... You can look like a Christmas tree! So... I do think it's quite funny, to be fair. I do I do actually like it. I think it's massive, like... I can't see myself, myself putting it on my avatar, but you never know. Next notice, we have Destroyer Behemoth Raid Event. So, it says monthly raid event, it is the monthly raid event, even though it's just on for a week, but... Um, <clears throat> apologies. When you grind this medal, like, I think you get like seven, seven or eight copies, I'm not sure. It's probably, probably more likely seven, I haven't checked the board yet. But, don't fuse them straight away. I know the first thing is, yes, I need these traits, but don't do it. Wait till next week because there potentially could be a high score challenge. And if there's a high score challenge, these could be 7% medals, and that 7% could be the difference between reaching the um, the goal to get the extra two medals and not reaching the goal. So that's just a little bit of bit of advice there. I always do it like even with the trip master, I've still got like seven separate after like um, I think about seven separate anyway. But yeah, like I've got two full copies anyway. <laughs> The next one is weekly gem quest. Obviously, we know what these are by now. Just complete the quest to get the weekly gem. This week it's magic. All good content, brilliant. And gold rain star VIP quests. If you're getting VIP, <coughs> I always say VIP really weird. If you're getting VIP, um, then you're getting quite a lot this week. So you're getting the gold rain star, which looks pretty cute. So move over Rudolph. Um, Glitzing Clamson is coming in. Um, we've got Illustrated Marluxia EX, again, obviously. I don't know how many more we've got left to get. I don't know if it's the 5th or 6th week. So, I'm not sure, but... Obviously, if you only buy the VIP when it's like, you know, there's the medals and stuff, then I wouldn't worry about it too much. Like, you was probably better off buying it when the key art came out, because then obviously you, you got, like, to guilt a medal and stuff. Like, if you bought it for the two weeks. Um, Seven Magic Brew medals. Good, so you can like get at least one Fantasia Mickey Bean, you've got two spare. Especially if you've been doing Union Cross, really good, because obviously you'll get like more Mickey and Brooms for doing that. Chip and Dale, uh, I don't think this quest is really should be VIP anymore because we don't really need it that much. Like we get enough Chip and Dale during the week anyway, so that's fine. This I've been looking forward to, the VIP daily uh the combination VIP quest. I've like got like 16 Fantasia Mickey is, and I'm just like, I need 200, I need like 300 or something, like, just because we've been getting a lot of, like, medals, like, obviously the organisation medals, just evolving them, like, we've gone, gone through them like crazy. I wonder if that is their secret plan. Let's give them loads of medals that they have to evolve, and then they'll have no Fantasia Mickey A's to evolve them. That is actually quite smart. Well played, Square Enix, well played. Um... Skills quest, max out your skills, um, you don't need to do this if you've got this one because this levels up your skills as well, the 
Um, the combination VIP does level up your skills and stuff, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Unless you don't want all the crap that that skill gives you. But yeah, um, yeah. So there's quite a lot to do, guys. Um, what's your plans for the week? Are you gonna like plan to just get the destroyer behemoth as fast as you can? Are you gonna be pulling on the gem deals, or are you gonna be pulling on the debut deal anymore? I'm tempted to do a pull now, but I don't really need to. I would like, I would like to. Like I did a couple of off-screen pulls, and I got final form Sora. But I don't know if I should do a pull. Hmm. Let's have a look how long the date's left on it. Three days left. Um, that means there's going to be a new deal soon anyway. I'm going to wait. I've got, I've got where I want to be in the high score challenge. I've got the, the two Valor Genies for getting the 30 million cap thing, so... I'm not bothered if it's boosted or not, because it's still going to be a powerful metal. Like, in this game, traits are more important than if a metal boosted or not. Yeah, the boosted one will have an extra 1,000 strength, but if you get paralysis resist and sleep resist, and then someone who doesn't get a boosted one gets ground and aerial, the ground and aerial one's going to do more damage anyway. So, it's a, <clears throat> it's a peculiar game at the moment, but... It's good, they keep giving us content, this deal was amazing, the debut deal is so good. It can help you just get powerful so fast, like, just as, if you get, like, a decent trait, say, Final Form Sora, you get Ground or Aerial on that, you're laughing for ages, because, obviously, it's got the Upright buff and stuff, and if you got extra attack, that's two Upright buff, that'd be amazing. But, I don't know, I'd rather have Aerial than Ground on it, but, that's neither here nor there. But, yeah, anyway, guys, leave your plans in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye!